if only there was a way to create some kind of a magical light. And that means that when I set the brightness of the light at 50%, it doesn't always go to 50%. For example, if the brightness of the group is lower than 20%, let's turn some lights off. Or if we set it to 80%, let's make some of the lights already at 100%. Well, today we'll be looking at this amazing magical integration in the HEX or HACS. We'll start in a couple of seconds. One of the first things that people automate in their home is lights. And lights are really nicely supported in Home Assistant. No matter if you are using Zigbee, Z-Wave lights, Wi-Fi lights, or even a normal light that you smarten up with a relay or something similar. And of course, in the UI, you also have tons of options to control them. You can select individual standard light in Home Assistant, turn it off, on, change the brightness, group control the lights, either off, on, same, change the brightness, or you can go to hex and install other options you have to control, change the brightness, change the color, turn on, and have a nice UI inside your home assistant for light control. But sometimes you want to make light smarter, so that, for example, 100% of the light brightness is not actually 100%. For this, we need to install the custom component. We'll go to hex, click on explore and download repositories, and type light for a Lightner integration. Click on it, click on download. If you're adventurous, you can go for beta version, but I usually go for the stable version, which at the time of recording was version 2.2.0. Click on download. And of course, since this is HAX or HACS integration, the next step for us is always to restart Home Assistant. While Home Assistant is restarting, let's look at the GitHub repository for this integration. What Lightner is? Lightner is a custom Home Assistant integration that will create virtual light that can then control group of lights. And why do you actually need it, although you didn't even know that this exists? For example, in my living room I have four lights, and those four lights are part of the living room lights group. When I change the group brightness, it matches what I select. If I go for 50%, then all the lights turn to 50%. If I go to 100%, all lights turn to 100%. But actually, I hate when some of the lights in that group are at 100%. They are simply positioned in such a way that they are too bright. Yes, of course, you have option to change the bulb and use a lower watt bulb, but it's easier to do it through the integrations inside Home Assist. So let's get cracking with the configuration of the Lightner inside Home Assist. Go to Settings, Integrations, Add Integration, Type Light and select Lightner Group. Give a new virtual device name. It will be easy for us to see a difference between the existing living room and the new living room group I've created. Let's select all the entities and let's click Next. Now let's configure each of the individual entities or lights. For example, for this standing light, if the light brightness set in Home Assistant for this virtual group is 20% or lower, I want this light to be off. That means I have to type 20, that matches what I've set inside Home Assistant, with 0, which is the brightness that the light itself or the bulb itself will emit. Next, I also mentioned that I don't want this light to go over a certain percentage. In this case, if we set 100% in Home Assistant, it will match 70% on this light bulb. And as I said, it will never go over that brightness if you, of course, use this virtual switch. For the TV light, it will be similar configuration. At 30%, the light will still be at 0%. And at 100%, the light will be at 80%. That means that light will not turn on until this group is set to more than 30% of the brightness, and also the light will not go over 80% of its brightness. For the corner, I only have one setting. Let's say that if I set brightness to 70%, the light will already be at 100% or maximum brightness. And for the entrance, which is the last entity, I will set similar setting. 80% means that it will be at 100%. Click Submit. We will add this to 
living room and finish. If we now add this to UI, we'll be using this light card, living room two and save. Turning it on and off in the old group looks the same. If we turn it on here, we can see some difference. For example, standing light is now at 36%. Entrance is at 50, corner is at 50, and TV is at 50. If we change brightness to 14%, those two lights that we said that will be off when the brightness is lower than 20% are off. And the corner and entrance lights are at those 17-20% that we set them previously. If we move this to 24, we can see that now standing light is on, TV light is still off because we set it to 30% minimum, corner is already at 34% and entrance is at 30%. If we move slider to 69%, standing TV are at 43 or 44% and the corner is already at 98% because we configure it in such a way that at 70% that light is already at 100% brightness. On 79% of the brightness, corner is at 100% because maximum is set at 70%, entrance is at 98% and TV and standing are somewhere around 50%. And if we set it at 100%, you see that standing is at maximum 70%, corner is at 100, entrance 100 and the TV is at 79 or 80%. But remember, this is a virtual light group. If you want to control it the old-fashioned way, you can still move everything at 100% in this group or mushroom card and all the lights will turn to 100%. This magic light control or lightner integration from Hex will enable you to have nice granular control of each of the entities or lights you have in your own setup. And of course, you can use this virtual light group also in your automations. Instead of using living room light group, you can use living room too inside your scripts, automations, and then have a better control of your lights inside your home. While you could potentially play with scenes and do something similar, it's not as intuitive or as easy with this magical integration. If you need more information on how to set up everything, how to control the lights, and how to select which percentage goes where, go through the documentation that is available on the GitHub repository. But as I've shown, configuration of this integration is very, very simple. I really do hope that you will have fun with this Hex integration. If you do like this integration, don't forget to give it a star on the GitHub repository. And while I'm here, I want to thank Fred CK for this awesome integration and also all the other contributors that helped this integration be as it is today. And while we are already here, I also want to thank all those wonderful people that are supporting me on the YouTube channel and that have become YouTube channel members. Thank you all for all of your support. But let's not forget each and every one of you who has watched, liked or subscribed to my channel. If you too want to support the channel, you can do so by clicking the join button down below. Or of course, you can go to the merchandise store and buy something there. I will be seeing you next time. Until then, bye bye and have fun.